Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Flower Boss. Today, we are going to make a fabulous uh, wreath using these beautiful coral ranunculus. See how pretty those are and vibrant? And we're going to be mixing them with the red heather. I thought that would look so nice together. Can you guys see how pretty that is? And if you'll stay with me all the way to the end of the video, you're forever going to know how to make a wreath, okay? Because in floral design, we work in odd numbers, and I'm going to show you a quick, fast method to make any wreath with any colors that you like, okay? So I went to Michael's, and I lucked out. They had 70% off all of their uh, spring greenery. These tea leaves, I got literally this entire bunch for $1. And the way I got it for $1 was... Um, if you're over 55 at Michael's, if you sign up for the rewards, you can get an extra 10% off. So I got this for 80% off and it was $5. So I got this for $1, all of these tea leaves. Okay, so this wreath that I'm making here is probably going to be under $20, okay? And at the end, if you, at the, sorry, at the end of the season, if you can catch these things on sale and look at this one, how beautiful. Um, let me see this. Um, I might have to get my glasses, sorry, but I didn't take the tags off. I wanted to show you the wonderful deal that I got. Uh, this seeded eucalyptus was a uh, $1.40. Look at that. Uh, these tea leaves, a dollar, and this a $1.40. Um, this is $2.40, and you cannot get these long stem, beautiful, realistic looking greenery wholesale for that cheap. So when you find that 70% uh, off sale, stock up on this stuff, okay? And then I got, um, I got this beautiful branch here. Look at that. And this one, I paid uh, $3 for all of that. Okay, and I'm not going to use it today, but, um, and then I got this one. This one was, uh, uh, this one was $3. And I got a bunch of that. It's going to really go a long ways. And these ranunculus here. Uh, I got these for a dollar and forty cents. They were seven dollars. I got these for a dollar and forty cents, and they're on the long stem. And I always say in all of my videos, make sure and use top quality materials because it does matter. And if you think about this, getting this eighty percent off, if you went to your local Dollar Tree or Dollar General and bought flowers, you would not get a top quality bloom like this for a dollar and forty cents. Okay, so. All right, let's see what we're gonna use. Another tip for you guys, when you're getting ready to design something, if you'll go in Michael's or Hobby Lobby or order online or whatever, just, or if, especially if you're in store shopping, just go down the greenery aisle and put together greeneries that uh, look good together, okay? Like for example, I got these tea leaves and this one, and I got the seeded eucalyptus, um, this small, uh, this is the one I got for this is the one I got for a dollar forty, the smaller one, and then just put them together like that and see if these co coordinate good together. And these do. Like for example, if I walk through and I picked up all these, that would be fine. And then I have this one, but you can see um, the stark difference and how this one. So I wouldn't put this one with these. Just go ahead and co coordinate all of the, your greenery together and just gather the, all of that up and uh, just grab it all up in a bunch like this. And when you get these long stems, before we cut all this up to make our wreath, let me show you what you could do. You could just go ahead and get your your three ranunculus, because we work in odd numbers, so I did get three of these. And then you could get your Indian paints and red heather, and you could put it at the top and hold this in your hand. You could literally pop this down into a container. See how long these stems are? And you would have a ready-made arrangement right there for very reasonable. Okay, so we're not going to use this one today. We're going to use it for another project. But what we are going to do is we're going to use all three of our orange ranunculus. And we're going to use our red heather. I just thought that looked so pretty with the ranunculus. And we're going to use our tea leaves, our seeded eucalyptus, and we're going to use our green leaves. And we may not need these two. I'm going to put them aside just in case. And I got, I have an 18 inch wreath here. And this is going to take no time at all. Watch how quickly this comes together when you buy your greenery on this long stem. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of look at it 
and see where it looks good. I'm going to just lay it down flat right here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and glue, plug in my hot glue gun just in case we need that. I hope all of you are doing fantastic today. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. And um, let's just get started right now. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I am a new uh, YouTuber. Well, I'm about a year into it, but I am building my channel. So I really appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you to all my beginning subscribers and my new subscribers and ladies and gentlemen, people all over the world that are watching my videos. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have this one, this one, and this one. And this is going to be our greenery base. We want to do this right now. So what we're going to do first is that we're going to take the lighter colored one and we're going to cut this tag off. And uh, if you will, if you, it will save you time in cutting these tags off. If you do, sometimes you get aggravated and you just snip it like that and you keep trying to pull the glue off around the stem. But if you will put your scissors along the, the base of the stem and go up, there's always a tiny little space there, just like that. Do you see where my scissors are coming all the way through? And then you don't have to do that and it just falls right off, okay? So what I'm gonna do to this branch right here is I am going to cut this up. Let me see, this is a pretty thick one. Let's see how we do with that. I'm gonna cut this bottom piece off if I'm able to on camera right here, right now for you guys. This is very thick. I may have to get thicker pliers, but okay, bar cutters, there we go, okay. So I'm just gonna clip that off. So now I have two pieces and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just gonna lay this down like this onto my reed, just like that. Just gonna lay that down on there, just, just like that. That's all I did to that. And I'm going to cut it off at the end. I get, I get my husband's wire cutters. They seem to work better than mine. Yep, they sure do. So, there's a tip for you if you have the little ones that don't work. Good, get a big pair. Okay, and I'm going to save that because I might use it for something else. Because I save everything, remember? Okay, so I have this big, gorgeous, beautiful bundle of flowers here. And I'm just going to hot glue that. I might hot glue that. I think while my hot glue gun is getting ready, I'm going to use my floral wire for this piece, and I'm just going to wire that on there. I'm going to just cut off a piece and just wire it right straight into my grapevine wreath, okay? All right. And this one seems like it has a lot of loose branches, so that's going to be perfect to weave your uh, flowers in there and your greenery leaves. It's going to be awesome. Just find a good spot to get that to go down in there and then i'm going to just go ahead and take this branch and i'm going to wire this on there you can hot glue it or you can wire it on there or you can zip tie it i have a video if you'll scroll back and it's called my zip uh layer and zip method nothing could be easier but for, for right now i'm just going to go ahead and while my glue gun is getting hot i'm just going to go ahead and wire that on there and if we, if we counted the steps, I would say we'd have seven or eight steps and this wreath will be done. Okay, so there we go. This is what we have so far. Okay, now I have a second piece because I did want it to be longer. So I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and add my second piece right here. Okay, right here. And you just turn it how you're gonna, how you're gonna want it. You see, if you cut it in half, my top leaf is right at the top right there. So I'm gonna stick that straight down in there, just like that, and I'm gonna, wire, I'm gonna wire another section. Okay, let's call this step two. I'll try to remember to keep up with it so we can see how many steps. So, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. You have watched a lot of my videos and other people's videos. So you're obviously interested in floral design. Make today the day. Make you a material list. Go to your local craft store, grab your materials, come back, turn my video on, and do it with me step by step. And then after you've made your wreath, please go to my Facebook group, Floral Class with Kathy, and that's K-A-T-H-Y. Post a photo of what you made. I'd be so proud and honored to see it. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna go ahead and wire this down. I have been a little sick and I'm, re I'm recovering nicely, thank the Lord for that. But if you'll bear with me, I am, uh, today's 
a pretty good day for me in my recovery. So uh, I'm more than excited to be here with you guys making my video. I love doing this, it's so fun. Okay, so this is what we have so far, like just like that. And that's so pretty. You could just go all around and make a greenery wreath and pop a little bow in there if you wanted to. But okay, step two. Okay, now we've already done step two now. And this is floral wire and this is about 18 a gauge. And it also comes in a thicker one. This is very thick. It's harder to bend. See, this is a 22 gauge and I'm using 18 gauge. It's just easier to work with for me. Unless I did a heavy duty large uh, commercial product or something, I'd use the, the heavy duty. But for this kind of stuff, I just use the 18. I think it's 18 and it's uh, easy to use. Okay, so step two. So we're going to go ahead and layer. We're gonna go ahead and put our next, um, our seeded eucalyptus on there. I think I wanna use my shorter branch for this one. Okay, so this one, I only paid $1.40 for all of that. Can you believe it? It's awesome. All right, let's take our tag off real quick. Um, over here in Houston, Texas, it's been raining all morning. And you guys know that's my favorite thing to do when it's raining is crafting. I love to come in my studio and I love to teach all of you. Okay, so we got this one. So let's, when you get it, just spread it out, kind of see what you got there. Okay, so we know we're gonna layer it on top. So we're gonna cut this piece off right here. Let's just snip that right off. And we're gonna we're gonna leave that one on there because see how much uh, how much length that gives us right there. And we're just gonna layer this right on top of what we already did. And I'm probably just gonna go ahead and I'm probably just gonna go ahead and um, wire this one on there too. This is your seeded eucalyptus. So I'm just gonna kind of spread the leaves out where I want them, and then I'm going to just layer that right on top, right there. It's perfect. That's all I'm gonna do. Cause you can always move your, your leaves around. So let me wire this one on there real quick. Okay. This is gonna be step three right here. I'm having trouble seeing today for some reason. Let me find my wonderful glasses. Okay. Yeah, anything you guys make if you go to my floral, uh, Floral Class with Kathy Facebook group. I would post a photo. I'd love to see it. And uh, we do have uh, giveaways in that group also. So make sure and join us. It is a private group. So you'll have to request to join. Okay. So I got that in there. I think that's pretty secure. And then these, these bins. So don't worry about that. Now I'm just going to fluff this up to where I think it looks wonderful. Just like this. And I have another little piece, so one, two, three. This is step four. And I'm gonna put this one down a little bit further here. I think I'll be able to get away with that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna wire that one in there too. Okay. Step four. Okay. Um you know, we're doing this step by step. This is a step by step tutorial because remember today is the day you're not just gonna watch the video, you're actually gonna go and get your materials come back, get you a nice drink, relax, get in a quiet spot and make it with me step by step. Then you're going to post your picture so I can see it. And please, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the video. I really appreciate all of you so much. And don't worry too much about these leaves because you can adjust them later. Okay, so we've got step four is done. Step four is done. We're just making this nice and, and thick so pretty okay so we got a step four and then when you lay it back down in front of you remember when you just take your hand like that everything is off to my left okay and sometimes I do it to the right and put my bow here but today I'm gonna do it this way okay now we have some uh, tea leaves that's gonna be the last of our greenery and I'm just going to cut this up let me show you a little trick I like to do when these are long uh, I end I end up cutting everything up. Okay, these are long. I don't need a piece that long. I mean, I could do like that and lay it on top, but it might look, y'all know my word, right? Gaudy. So we don't want it to look gaudy. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up in smaller pieces because I don't want it to be like that. 
And then I'm gonna get my glue gun and hope it's hot now, which I believe it should be. These little Ashland uh, mini glue guns, they actually work very good. They, I was kind of surprised how good they work, but they do. All right, so I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the bottom here, just like that, like a pretty big blob of it. Uh oh, it's dripping. And then I'm gonna go right in the, oh, oh, I got burned on the camera. Ow, owie, it happens. Okay. So please, ladies and gentlemen, be careful with that. Uh, sometimes when I'm doing my video, I get in a hurry because I know you guys have things to do and I don't take my time as much as I do if I'm just uh, doing it for fun or a hobby or something. So I'm gonna blame you guys. No, I'm just kidding. I love all of you. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Okay, <coughs> so I'm gonna get three wonderful pieces out of this. Okay, so I'm gonna put one here. Um, remember how I always say we work in odd numbers. So when I'm doing my wreaths, I always think odd numbers. So I'm gonna do one, two, and three of pieces of this, okay? And um, this, uh, my Ashland hot glue gun gets very, very hot. I just burned my finger and um, I noticed this, I don't know, I, I think this is probably low temp, but it's very, very hot. So if you're uh, just getting your materials, this was $3.99, I highly recommend it because it does get very hot, but you do have to be very careful not to burn yourself because it does hurt for a minute, okay? There's one, two, and I'm gonna do three, okay? And I said we were probably gonna make this for uh, under $20. It may even be less than that because this branch that I got for a dollar, you can see I'm only using three pieces of that. So this may end up being in the, the wreath, the 18 inch grapevine wreath was $5.99, but I got 10% off being over 55. Okay, so this is our third piece right here. Okay, okay, so we've done four, five, six. This is our seventh step right here. Okay, and I just put these in toward the, the inside. See, just like that. And that is so pretty already. Now, uh, all we have left is our, our three um, branches of rena coral ranunculus and our, our red heather. That's all we have left to do to this wreath, okay? Let's see, we're at 17 minutes because I've been chit-chatting, but I love to do that. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna need all of this. So I saved it all, but I don't need to cut the stem on this one because I'm gonna cut this up high. Save a step, okay? And um, in floral design, we always cut our real uh, fresh flowers and our artificial flowers just get in the habit of cutting them at an angle because when you put them in your dry foam or something like that you're you won't ever forget you're always just in the habit of it but i mean this looks so real does that not look so real and you'll want to get high quality materials and uh, you'll want to get real realistic looking flowers okay and then people will say, oh, is that real? I've had so many people, arrangements that I've made for private clients say, uh, people come and say, is that real? And they're like looking at it really good and it's not. You could even sprinkle a little bit of water on here when they come and they'll think, oh, well, it is real. Okay, so now this one we're gonna put at the top and I'm gonna put quite a bit of glue on this one because all around because I do want this to stay in there for me, okay? If, I were, if this were not going to be a permanent arrangement, I would just wire it or zip it in there because I do like to change colors in my arrangements, but I'm making this one for someone special, so I am going to make it more permanent. Is that so pretty? Okay, there's step eight, right? Y'all help me keep count, okay? Step eight, and it's got these cute little buds too, and we'll find a place for two of those because we work in odd numbers, so it'll be three large and then two of the small, okay? And that's gonna give it a wonderful balance and ple very pleasing to the eye. Okay, so we're gonna cut this off right there. And these pliers work really good. Highly recommend them, okay? All right, let's see, what brand is this? Husky. Okay, I might have to ask Husky to give me a sponsorship because um, I got a bunch of pair, a bunch of these pairs out of my husband's truck, and now he's gonna have to buy some more because I keep taking them. But look at that! It like makes it so much easier to clip these thick branches. Okay, so now I'm gonna put one in the middle, 
and I'm gonna put a big glob of glue. This is gonna be step nine, just like that. Oh, step nine. If it starts dripping, just kind of go around there because you don't want this to come out, okay? Okay, oh, that, that fit perfect. I just love that feeling when it looks good and it fits perfect. Okay, so we have another one, one more. And then we are going to, this is uh, not step 10. Step 10. What's everybody doing for Easter coming up? Leave in the comments and let me know what all you guys are doing. Are you gonna be making anything? You know, Mother's Day is coming up. This is a perfect time to learn this and you could make uh, Mother's Day gifts or you could make wreaths to take to the nursing home and the residents would just love that. You could put, maybe make a big one and put on their main entrance or give one to your neighbor or a sick friend or make one for yourself. Don't forget yourself. Self-care is very important and making one for yourself is wonderful. And I always say flowers are an instant mood booster and it's 100% true. It doesn't even matter what kind of day or mood you're in. If you go and get yourself a little bundle of flowers and come back home and watch the video and learn how to, once you learn how to arrange your real flowers by cutting the stems, changing the water and putting your focal flower and all your fillers in, you'll know this forever. Learn it one time. Every time you go to the store and get those flowers, you're gonna come home and do it without even thinking about it. It's worth it to learn how to do floral design, okay? All right, so here's our third one. I'm gonna put glue. And I'm going to turn the stem because I want this to be, I have a lot of glue, just like that. Okay, step 10, and I haven't burned myself, so I'm very grateful. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I, is that so pretty? Oh, my goodness, so pretty. All right, and um, I have two of these. Well, I actually have three of these little buds, but I'm only going to use two because that's that'll make five. Okay, one, so I'm going to cut this one off, one, and then I'm going to cut, uh, I don't need the third one, I'll save it definitely for something else, you could put that in a little teacup for Mother's Day with some little eucalyptus uh, greenery and some green leaves around it, and it'll be like a, a nice little gift, okay, so we don't need that, alright, so what do we have left, we have our, our little, two of our little ranocular buds in our red heather, Okay, so let's clean up our area here. Sorry about that. All right, so let's see what, what we need. Okay. All right, so these two, we are going to pop these babies in there. It has a little leaf. It's so cute. And I made the I made the stems longer on this one. See, because I want it to stick out a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna put glue all, all around this one. And then I'm just kind of look to see where I kind of want this one near the first one. And I want it to stick out like that. Okay. And then the second one, I'm going to put, okay, I have one, two, three. I have the big one and the little one, a big one in the middle, and the third one. So that was step 10, step 11. This is step 12, okay? If I've added right. If I haven't, put it in the comments, okay? All right. So this one, I'm going to have it popping out right here right here by this one and I want it to stick out a bit. Let me see if I can see where it's going, if that's going to work. Okay. Like that. Um, that one's, I'm not really liking where that's going, so I'm going to pull this one out and do it again. Okay. And I'm going to see if this one kind of right, find a good branch to go between. So that'll be like more permanent. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. And now for this, I have uh, one, two, three, that's step 12, and I have these two, but I actually am looking back at this uh, beautiful branch of eucalyptus, and I think I'm gonna kind of put that toward the middle. I think that'll look, add a little pop. And uh, this is one, of, I have made a stem for this one, and it actually fell off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on this one. And this is it. I just happen to have this laying around, so that's why I, I'm going to put it right underneath my beautiful ranocula right there. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty already. And you really, let me see if I can get this close for you guys. And these, uh, you can turn these up if they get, if they're turned down or anything like that. Okay, so now, now I'm going to. Um, 
use my red header and I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna cut this up. All right, I'm just gonna cut all these up to, I'm gonna leave them kind of long, about that long. Okay, I'm gonna cut these up. All right, so that was step 12 and then I put the eucalyptus by the middle one, so 13, okay? And then if we put all this in, we're gonna be at, let's see. Let's see where we're gonna be if we put all this in. Okay, step 13, we're gonna be at 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 21 steps, which sounds like a lot, but it's really not for these, okay. And I'm gonna put these toward the outside and I'm gonna layer them just like that. See, just I'm gonna put it like that. See, instead of putting them side by side, I'm gonna put it like that. And then I'm going to glue it in to the back. And I'm going to start, here's my first one, and I'm going to come down about four inches, and I'm going to start it right there. Okay, I'm going to put lots and lots of glue on this, because I want this to stay right. I want this to stay right where I put that. Okay, there's, okay. So we got that, and now I'm going to do two more together. Like this. Uh, lots and lots of glue, and it'll stay for you, okay? I do have a little glue thing over here to hold my, my, all my glue, but get, if, you, if you'll go ahead and crush, press down and get your glue started real good before you start working on your project, <laughs> sorry if I'm mumbling, if you will go ahead and get your glue started, it will help you a lot. See, I'm gonna put a lot, just a whole a bunch right there. And I'm gonna come down uh, right where my middle one is, and I'm gonna start it right there, right there. Okay, that's perfect. And then I'm gonna do two more. And I'm gonna layer these one longer than the other. And this one, the stem's too long at the bottom, so I'm gonna cut some of that off. And I'm just gonna put a lot of glue. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of glue. And these stick really well. A lot of glue. And I'm gonna come down um, about where my middle one is, about four inches, and start it right in there, right in there. Okay, that one fit right there. And then I'm going to look at it and see. Wait, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that a little bit more. I'm not liking the way that's looking, but I'm gonna glue that right there. Get another one started. When you just dry, it just pops right up. Okay, so what do we have in our steps? It really wasn't that many. But putting these in, you know, how simple this is, does add a little bit. Okay, I can see there's a space here, so I'm going to fill in that space where they're evenly kind of placed. They don't have to be perfectly even, but semi-even. With the last two I have, I'm just going to kind of see where it needs to go. And I can see I need one right there. It's perfect. I love when you get that last perfect piece in there. I'm going to just trim this up a bit. I don't need all that. So... Okay, we're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Put in the comments if you plan to actually go to the store and get your materials today and come back and turn it on and make one with me step by step. I would love to know. And once you learn how to do this and you learn the method of uh, working in the odd numbers, you can make a wreath of any theme or any kind or any color or pretty much anything. You can do anything once you learn the method, the easy method. And go back and watch my layer and zip method. That one is so easy. So easy. Now, when I turn off the video, all I'm going to be doing is kind of looking at it and fluffing up my leaves and, and things like that. Okay. So let me see how this is looking. My glue is a bit stringy because I used a lot. All right. Let's see how this looks. And if anything's overpowering anything, extra leaves or anything, just feel free to cut that right off. Okay, because you don't want anything taken away from your, your beautiful blooms. Okay. okay. Now this one, there's a few too many leaves on that one, so I'll pop those off. Okay. Now let's see what we have. Oh, this is looking. And this one, I have a few, I have a few too many leaves on the top, so just cut it off. There we go. And there we have, let me see, I'm trying to see if it's centered for you guys. And there we have our beautiful 
coral ranunculus with red heather free. And that's going to be so beautiful to hang on your on your front door or you don't you don't have to just hang it on your front door you could hang it on a wall in your room you could put it in your bathroom you can spray it with your favorite scent and it'll smell so good you can get um, the shining spray you can spray your leaves before you start and it'll keep them shiny and there's so many things you can do with this and it's so pretty and so easy to make i just love it so it looks better from your angle. Let me see if I can get a screenshot. Thank all of you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I cannot wait to see what you made. I hope all of you have a lovely day. Fabulous, wonderful day. Best day ever. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.